All right, so today what I have for you is how to set up a live server using nothing but Visual Studio Code and an add-on extension, all freely available, and you can set up within like two or three minutes. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so first step is if you don't have Visual Studio Code, go ahead and download it. It's available for Mac, Windows, or Linux. Just choose the version that you need. And then after you've downloaded Visual Studio Code, go ahead and open the program. Now, and once you're in VS Code, VS Visual Studio Code, click on the extensions icon on the left and search for Live Server. Once you find Live Server, make sure it's the one by Ritwick Day. It does have a lot of downloads. You see over 5 million downloads. Click the Install button. Now, I've never had to reload Visual Studio Code, but it may change on your system. Uh, once the live server extension is installed, we can go to our file explorer, the top left icon, and we can either choose file open to open a project folder, or we can choose the open folder option in the explorer view. Now in this case, I'm going to open up the first project folder in the learn JavaScript series that I'm doing. Click open on that folder. All right, now once I'm in the project, you can see I have the files on the left, index, objects, HTML, all my file projects. Yep, normal. But now at the bottom right, I have a magic button called go live. And when I click go live, it actually starts a local server. In this case, it's defaulting to port 5500. Now we'll move that to the right so that you can see that in the in addition to a live server where we can make asynchronous calls and have uh, we can support PHP, .NET, and Node.js calls, uh, it also gives us a live reload option. And that means each time we make a change on a file and we save the file, then we'll instantly see the results reloaded in our browser. So here I had hello there. And now I'm hitting save, and you can see the hello there instantly updates in the browser. So an awesome tool, an awesome feature, all free, and you can set it up in pretty much two minutes. So if you found the video helpful, I would appreciate you to like the video, as well as if you want to see new content that I release, click the subscribe button. Look forward to talking to you next time. So until then, happy coding.